Hello friends, hello Monday, hello November, and hello day one of Zine Remo! <laughs> hello, hello, hello! If you are new here, I am your resident zine enthusiast, Silver, sitting here checking out the zines and showing you the awesome mail that has arrived in my post box over the past week. And oh my goodness, past week and today, because I had, I did have a couple of things, but I decided, oh, why not check the post box today? You know, take a little time, extra time and just go for it. And kablooey. So <laughs> now I have lots of mail to share with you today. And I'm very, very excited because it's mail from around the world and it's Z-mail and how can Z-mail not be exciting? And I don't know, I, I just have some good vibes. I have some good vibes about November. I just, I feel like it's going to be good, but I could have just put the moss on it. So <laughs> let's see what happens. But yes, I'm very excited. New month, fresh start kind of vibes. I don't know. I don't know, but <laughs> I am feeling good and happy and I hope you are feeling good and happy. And thank you for joining me on this awesome mail share. <laughs> <laughs> so let's dig right into it, shall we? And I don't know why I just rolled my R. And I don't know what's up with my mood either, but... <laughs> I mean, it's a Monday. I mean, usually people are grumpy about Mondays. I'm usually... I mean, I'm excited about starting a new week. And how can I be grumpy when Mondays are Happy Mail Mondays? But that being said... It's also, you know, November. And while uh, November is actually, you know, <laughs> the last month of spring here in Australia, I still, like, I don't know, get kind of a, a pleasant mood in November because I, if you don't know, I grew up in the US and I love the autumn vibes. I love the trees turning colors. I love like the corn becoming ripe and ready to ready to harvest and I just uh, hot apple cider and mm, hay rides and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> like I don't know. I've been in Australia for over a decade. Oh my goodness. And yeah, I guess just some things my even though I'm here in Australia and I quite, and I love spring, I adore spring and all that good stuff. But there, I guess just part of me is still goes <gasps> autumn vibes. So yeah, <laughs> I've got the good feels of springs and the good autumn vibes. So I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, let's move on. I've opened a few things just to, while I was prattling on, just to <laughs> keep going because these are usually pretty long videos, but this is going to be pretty, pretty long <laughs> with all of this. So first up, we have mail from Billy, Billy the Bunny, Billy, who I have probably talked about more on this channel than like anybody else, but with good reason, because Billy is awesome and always doing awesome things cool things <laughs> and it's absolutely chill with me despite the fact that I'm always late in responding to his emails <laughs> so I've talked about Billy so many times but again just in case if you're new here this is from Billy the bunny I don't know if anybody but me calls him Billy the bunny anymore but I do I think it's cute. This is Billy's The Desert Sun, his Perzine-esque life newsletter update with all the goodies. It is the letter that can go out to all your friends and doesn't have to be like personalized. So you can just, it's like a, a blog on paper, goodness, mail, fun stuff. I'm just going to keep saying words. <laughs> but anyway, The Desert Sun. Issue 26. Oh, are we to 26 already? Goodness me. Hello, everyone. Hello, Billy. I've had an excellent birthday month and now it's all gone. Well, much belated birthday from me. Ooh, though I think I did say happy birthday last month because you mentioned it in the last one. So yes, this, I mean, <laughs> Billy's always got stuff going on. Like he's into music and there's some, let's see, NFL season embracing middle age 
house updates. Billy recently like moved, bought his own first house, so <laughs> continuing good luck with that and all of that stuff. And I do like that um, Billy <laughs> Billy uh, writes about getting older and things like that because Billy is uh, a bit older than I am and I'm finding myself like discovering new things in this <laughs> in my 30s and he's him being a little bit further ahead than me it's kind of like oh is that what he's going to be like or what are those th the things that I'm going to be discovering <laughs> all sorts of things so it's fun it's fun so as always check out I mean everybody all the details will be in the bits and bobs but you know check out what Billy's doing because he's always doing something creative and it's amazing and awesome and fun and there's so much good stuff to be excited about so <laughs> Thank you, Billy, for sending the latest Desert Sun. I hope you received the most recent missive by now, but you never know with worldwide mail these days. So <laughs> thank you, and I'm glad to see some mail goodness from you. Next up, we have some mail from Christopher Story. Now, Christopher Story and I think connected via our mutual zine friend Fish Spit. And Oh, I do so love the zine world in that way. You know, <laughs> my friend thinks you'd like, you know, my friend thought I'd like your zines or you'd like my zines or, you know, connections that are still being made, not on a social network. You know, <laughs> I'm not bagging on social networks. I'm on, I like Instagram. A lot of people bag on Instagram, but I like Instagram. But uh, yeah, there's still, <laughs> there's still something quite lovely and beautiful about making connections. Uh, you know, friend of a friend uh, in postal mail. So what do we have here? Greek, or sorry, geek, not Greek. <laughs> geek grab DIY zine. Punk art, fun size, comics, handmade in Kentucky. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to have to be a little bit careful because there is an address on the front. So let's just see if I can cover that up and show you what I'm looking at. Here we go. So that a bit closer for you geek grab <laughs> Colonel Sanders with an all with a <laughs> mental eye as well sounds cool I like the aesthetics it's just kind of like scrapbooky design drawing all kinds of stuff so <laughs> let's see what we have here on the back learn what is to be taken seriously and laugh the rest indeed okay so <laughs> I uh, also have to be careful because this is not stapled or bound in any way. So let's see what we have. Welcome to Geek Grab number six. Six holds a special place in the autobiograph autobiographical folklore. Really nice. <laughs> autobiographical folklore. Some bylines have me as Kit Six Tails Brixton. Is it enough to have multiple nicknames? If you've read my other zines or know much about my maximalist tendencies, well, speaking of other zines, I swear fluorozine should be out soonish. That would be that will be number six too. Fans of numbers and cyber cypherpunks may know that six is a perfect number. That means a number of weirdest factors add up to the number the number one two three are the factors which add up to six there are many others but six is my is the first and my favorite oh my goodness so a <laughs> bit of a tongue twister introduction that is for sure but oh i like that too i didn't really i remember factors from school but i didn't think about like six being like a perfect number that's really cool I like it. Anyway, fun fact, learn something every day, right? So we have, that is the introduction here. And then we have like comics, comic goodness, lots of comic goodness. Ooh, more writing and more art. Somewhat big peaks today, but that's, that's just the kind of feels we're going with today. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's a little bit hard <laughs> to hard to keep track of or hard to keep my hands on because it's not bound but I have a stapler I'll do it myself <laughs> anyway oh I like it I like it I like it lots of lots of fun stuff in here so yes thank you so much Chris 
Chris, Christopher, I'm not sure what you prefer, but thank you either way for sending this along. I am intrigued. I'm having a very hard time not to just sit here and like get into the zine right now. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much for sending that along. Oh, I just, I love it. I love it. I'm, I don't know, maybe part of the November vibes that I'm having are kind of this like more DIY cut and paste art sort of hand hand drawn stuff sort of vibes as well. I'm usually a very like I do a lot on computer. I've been taught how to use uh, InDesign so I love InDesign for setting things up but yeah I'm getting back to handwritten and handmade and hand drawn and all that stuff this month so this is right up my alley and perfect timing so thank you so much for <laughs> so much Chris for sending that along. And next up we have zine mail from the one, the only, the amazing, my very dear friend and one of my first zine friends from way back when it was uh, we make zines.ning rather than a dot com. Ken Bossart! Yay! Applause, applause, applause. All that good stuff. Now I've told this story many times, uh, like I have told the story of Billy <laughs> and um, Yes, uh, Ken, as I mentioned, was one of my first uh, zine friends that I made, one of my first uh, zine trades and all that good stuff. And as I have mentioned quite a few times, uh, Ken's zine, which I am looking at here. Yay! Oh, goodness. I've got a little note here, but I can't show you because it's basically just a, um, a mailing update, an address update. So I'm not showing you that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've talked a lot about the Ken Chronicles. This is number 61 already. Oh my goodness. Such a long lasting Perzine. But yes, this is Ken's life and updates and all sorts of things. Fun Perzine, but I it holds a very special place in my heart because it was very influential to for me. Uh, in my early days when I wanted to start a Perzine and I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do or how I wanted to do it. And back then I was, I was so, <laughs> I still am a little bit now, but back then I was so obsessed with if I wanted to do something, I had to learn all the ways I could do it before I do it rather than just jumping in. <laughs> I've calmed down a little bit from my 20s, that's for sure. <laughs> But yes, uh, Ken Chronicles is just an awesome zine. I highly recommend checking it out just from the get-go because there's so many elements in here that I absolutely love. I mean, it you can see it's a, it's a primarily, <laughs> I say prim I was going to say primarily a text scene, but this is a <laughs> uh, fun issue because it has a few more uh, pictures and things like that than they usually do but <laughs> there we go so even if like persians might not be your style or some, any other element like that i still highly recommend checking this out just because of all the elements that ken uses like from from photography on the front and you can get this uh in a pdf form i believe so you can see the full color front but you uh front cover <laughs> <laughs> but like there's all the information you could want or need for, about Ken and the zine is right there in the in the front uh, and there's the input and feedback section which I absolutely love and I would love to get that going in a zine it's one of my like zine bucket list things to <laughs> get something like this going and have it last so long that people what Ken does is um, post <laughs> <laughs> put uh, feedback from people they write to him and he puts it in here and responds in here like if you wrote some feedback about the last issue he'll post it in the next one and then respond so I just think that input and feedback is so cool and <laughs> people places and things like there's the the value of consistency as well because uh, Ken usually has people places and things and he also includes um, what Ken's what he's doing but also let's see what I've been blank lately what I've been watching what I've been reading books what I've been reading zines all the it's just it's all fun 
<laughs> I could probably go on and on and on, but like, check it out. Like <laughs> as a zine maker, even if perzines aren't your thing, like the format and the variety and the elements involved in this are just, are great. So <laughs> as you can see, it's always a joy to see something from Ken arrive in the mail. So thank you so much, Ken, for sending that along. I'm so excited to dig into the next one. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I need to go back to the early days and get some get some of the um, the first uh, issues as well. So my completionist heart will like calm down. So <laughs> I like to have the whole set in things. That's just that's just me. But thank you so much, Ken, for sending that along. I really appreciate it. And like I said, it's always great to see something. <laughs> it, it's always always great to see something from you in my post box. Oh my goodness! What a mail day it is. <laughs> I just see mail from like Ryan and Craig as well and I'd be like oh oh and, and Allie and <laughs> so many zine friends but this zine goodness comes from the one the only the amazing another person that I have talked about on this channel so much because he's awesome this comes from Rich of Feral Publication and this is cool because this is the back of the envelope and then we have this printed ink this <laughs> cool I, I you know you have to be commended for sending an envelope that you can color <laughs> you can color in so cool oh I've talked about rich again many times but <laughs> but uh, his like I just admire his his work ethic his work drive his ability to combine the the punk and independent aspects of zine making along with the not necessity but the not necessity it's not necessary to become a business when you make zines but rich does so in a way that still makes yeah, makes things feel true to zines and zine culture while also being practical in the current day and age <laughs> if that makes any sense he's awesome he makes videos like so many videos he he has a TikTok. all of the things check out all of the things because this is another amazing human being and what has he sent me <laughs> we have feral comics issue 13. i've got a sneeze coming up so there's going to be a little bit jump cut <laughs> Pardon me, you know, sneezes, they creep up when, uh, when, you, when you least expect. So we have, oh, we have a little sticker from Feral Publishing. Very cool. Love stickers. Oh, wait, no, this is photo paper. Hmm. Curious. <laughs> Talk about me getting distracted by zines. I get distracted by stickers, too, and, and photos and that. Uh, anyway. Calming down, calming down. <laughs> a little excitable today, as usual. <laughs> so we have Feral Comics issue 13. And what I'm going to do is just open this baby right up so you can get the full awesomeness of the full cover because it spans the front and the back. So there you go. Check it out. Not sure who the cover art is by. Let's see. Cover art slash rich Mike Liller. Okay. Mm. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. <laughs> distracted, distracted. All right. So, Feral Comics issue 13. Dear readers, it's been a while for sure, and I hope that wait was not in vain. I thought hard about ways to make the Feral Pro Comics project bigger and better now that we are entering the second year of the project, and I hope that it shows in, this, in the next few issues. Issues? I can't pronounce my words today. <laughs> I hope that it shows in the next few issues. But enough said, let's get to the comics. Yay! Wow. Oh my goodness me. See, see, and that introduction just said, says something about Rich as well. Like always pushing to be like bigger, better, better quality, all of that stuff to just to do more for 
not only the the zine itself when it's all done but also for the comic artists and for feral publication as a whole so it's so cool so feral comics if you weren't are familiar is actually a subscription you can subscribe and, and get feral comics or you can uh, top up your collection which i definitely need to do because i don't have all of them completionist <laughs> Anyway, and uh, the artists, I do believe the artists get paid and the subscri subscription cost goes towards the artist. Now don't quote me on that because my brain is my brain sometimes, but I think that's the case. And oh, oh my goodness. There's just some amazing, amazing art in here. So what I'm going to do is going to give you a rather big peek but there's different comics from different artists in here so you can find all sorts of styles and possibly find a new favorite because i i i've taught i've said <laughs> this is like the episode of me repeating myself i feel like i say the same things all the time but i do love a collaboration zine because you can find new people find new favorites and it's all good and please excuse my cat <laughs> you and yeah find new favorites and connect to people you might not otherwise connect to if there weren't uh collabs out there so <laughs> Rich being awesome, bringing people together, showing off amazing skill, skilled artists from around the world. It's just, it's all good. It's all amazing. And thank you so much. I'm so happy to be <laughs> subscribed to Feral Comics. And I do believe I probably have to refresh my subscription soon, which I will do with great enthusiasm because as you can see, I love it. Next up, we have Zine Goodness from the UK. UK? Yes, probably, I think. Me doing my usual thing. Um, I think that's UK. It's either UK or Canada. They have similar <laughs> address systems. <laughs> Please forgive me. But here we go. What a cool envelope. I was a little bit worried because it is like reinforced with tape on it, which is awesome. And I love also because the uh, washi will come right off and I can, <laughs> I can see the address easily but I was a little bit worried because I'm like oh there's tape all over but Sarah kindly Sarah it's from S from S and I think I know who this is from but <laughs> I'm not sure so I just said Sarah and I didn't mean to say Sarah because I'm not sure it's from Sarah but let's just find out let's just let's just go for it <laughs> <laughs> While my cat is staring at me, giving me very intimidated feelings. <laughs> but yes, let's see who this is from. See if it's from whom. I think it is. Look, we have a note. Here. Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. Oh, okay. <laughs> I should have known it was a Van Gogh. I love Van Gogh. Isn't that such a pretty card? Starry Night is one of my favorite <laughs> art pieces of all time. But yeah, in general, I like Van Gogh. Anyway, <laughs> Sarah Hoffman. Yes, yes. I, I thought it was you, Sarah. So I'm, I'm so sorry about my hesitation. I thought so. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> Enclosed review submission. Purchase only directly from me at Sarah Hoffman on Instagram. So details down below what are we looking at Ooh. okay so there's quite a few <laughs> there's a few bits and pieces so i'll get myself a little organized oh my goodness we have like there's there's a big package of stuff <laughs> so let's have at it and we have hazelnuts and hawthorns Ooh. color me curious Go. Let's see. Um, exploring innate magic through rocks. After a particularly gruesome thought, I looked down in through darkness and saw the brilliance of this stone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you ever done that? I've totally done that. I've been I've been in a in a 
and whatever mental space, good space, bad space, and I've been like out and about and I've seen a rock and it just like, oh, there's just something about this rock and it just, I just need it, <laughs> need it. I've had that happen before, so <laughs> confessions on YouTube, why not? <laughs> All right, so we have exploring innate magic through rocks, creating curses. Oh my. How do you feel about curses? Oh, it's an interactive zine too. Creating curses, worksheet, purpose, focus, gather, organize, follow up. Oh. And let's see. <laughs> Winged snail mail, a male culture zine. Okay. <laughs> chain letters, a history of and a presentation of the claim that chain letters are inherently curses. Oh, I remember that as a kid. You get a chain litter and <laughs> used to frighten some people so much. Oh, you don't do that. No, it's a chain letter. Do not like roar. Oh my goodness gracious. <sighs> Let's see a paper rock. <laughs> Cut it out, fold along the dotted line, impose your will. Domination via decoration. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so big peaks today, but <laughs> hagstones. Ooh. A hagstone is a stone with naturally occurring hole in it. Oh, I didn't know that. Learning, learning. H and H supplies, thistle down, wasp nest. <laughs> An H and H uh, list of some sort. <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's so much happening here and I'm not like, I feel like I'm in, <laughs> I feel like I'm on along for a surprise ride. Like I'm not quite sure what's happening, but the, I'm intrigued. Let's go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> so that's the zine and we also have like a bunch of papers to go along with it. And I'm not sure whether it's uh, ephemera or whatnot. I do feel a little bit awkward at times. <laughs> <laughs> like this when things aren't exp explained to me and that's not a dig at anybody it's more that there are times when like the obvious even though I'm just sitting here talking to my camera like my well my phone my phone camera <laughs> but even though I'm just sitting here talking to my phone I do feel like I miss the obvious things sometimes because this is first impressions like I don't redo this I know that there are jump cuts when I have to sneeze or like fan myself or something but <laughs> I, I don't edit out any of my uh, missing the obvious <laughs> things, so I'm like, I'm really excited about this, I'm intrigued, but I have no idea what's going on and I, I just feel a little self-conscious because like, <laughs> because there could be something really obvious that I'm just not getting because I'm a weirdo. Anyway, <laughs> so we have all this, all these papers that go along with it, so Let's go. We have your guide to the collection and organization of the exclusive quality house rock. <laughs> what is a house rock? Oh, <laughs> this is like um, an advertisement uh, for for your very own house rock. <laughs> Apparently, let's see. There are bad rocks and good rocks, and oh. <laughs> Sometimes a house rock can say no to a relationship with you. <laughs> a good rock is a house rock that said yes to a relationship with you. <laughs> oh, this is fun. It's like, uh, like I've been invited to like a rock appreciation society. That's so fun. <laughs> gods of rock. I don't want to make the rock gods mad because I love rocks. <laughs> This is like uh, sort of a flyer, a little newsletter thing. <laughs> and then we have application form, winged snails, naturalist society, geology merit badge. <laughs> Develop catalog and present your collection. Approach a rock collection like a museum. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> so we have a form here. Got it. I want to get my merit badge now. <laughs> I think I still have some of my Girl Stout stuff. Fun! All right, and then we have 
Oh no! Lost house rock. Have you seen my... Oh. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. This is so fun. It's like takes pet rocks to a new level. I was kind of, I don't know if I was too young or too old or I don't know what, but I didn't really get into the pet rocks thing. But this makes me think of like pet rocks <laughs> and it's fun. Oh, and then we have, let's see. Hawthorn thorns offer protection from infection. Ooh, danger thorns offer a real threat of infection. <laughs> oh, so it's a little, just uh, a warning flyer. And then we have general care instructions for your gremlin friend. Don't lose the rocks you were asked to hold or you will find yourself cursed. Ooh. <laughs> Not sure where the gremlins come into this, but that's fun too. <laughs> that's just a, a flyer there. Oh my god. Like this. Oh, there's just so much going on and I feel like, like I'm not fully comprehending everything but thank you for sending that along i like a bit of a, a mystery a bit of something to figure out and this is so intriguing and i just I, <laughs> I like the whole pet rock vibe thing going up like because yeah you know i've been called to pick up a rock or two in my time <laughs> it happens <laughs> thank you so much there for sending that along this is i'm really looking forward to sitting down with this and like taking a closer look at everything and just exploring all of this i feel like i've been sent um whoops <laughs> sent like a kit to to figure things out and then all the bits and pieces all the bits and pieces of evidence and <laughs> i don't know or i've been invited to a club or something i don't know i don't know but that's okay we don't always know everything in life <laughs> So thank you so much, Sarah, for sending me this very interesting project, uh, uh, creation of yours, excuse me. And yeah, thanks. <laughs> we'll be taking a closer look at it and seeing if there's something obvious I'm missing. Oh, and, and a double thank you because I really adore Van Gogh. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to call this episode like the mispronunciation episode, I think, but it could also be called the Awesome Zine Friends uh, addition with with Ken and, and Rich and everybody like sending me male friends from around the world and because I'm also so excited to show you zine mail from Nina Echo Zima the most gorgeous soul I uh, you know N Nina is amazing and kind and sweet and skilled so skilled with art um <laughs> I have plenty of Echo Publishing <laughs> uh, postcards and things like that. I just, <laughs> they're a bit, oh, they're behind me and on the wall and everything. I just, I love Nina's creations and I'm so excited to see mail from, from Nina. So excited, so excited. <laughs> so let us see what is the what. Hi, Nix. Hi, Nina. I'm just going to have a read of this note. <laughs> oh my goodness, such a lovely note. Nina, just amazing. You, sometimes, you know, your life, like, I don't even remember how we first connected, but, you know, it, uh, Nina is, is one of those people, like, I'm so happy <laughs> that we met and traded and everything. Like, I'm very happy, happy to know. <laughs> Nina, and I'm so happy to show you these that my order my order came in yay exciting exciting <laughs> these are the confined zines these are lockdown diary comic zines made during the COVID-19 pandemic I have the first and second one and now I have the third or uh, whoops the third and fourth one yay <gasps> so cool I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You know, my completionist heart loves <laughs> the zine cat's back. My completionist heart loves having the whole series, but also like I just Nina's uh, art style and and Nina's handwriting. Oh, all good stuff. Whoops. <laughs> Nina's also part of a band. So 
as I always say, like check out everybody's stuff in the bits and bobs because there are so many cool people that you need to know about <laughs> in the world. But oh my goodness me. Hi, I'm Nina or Zina. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is part three of the visual diary I've been making during the COVID-19 pandemic. Or actually part four if you count the Zine Scissors and Chainsaws number two. Which I also have. Oh, I love it. I love, 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 love. Oh my goodness. So Nina's persing style is just so cool to me because there, there are photos and there's art, a lot of art, a lot of comic style art, comics. Um, <laughs> and as I said, Nina's handwriting is amazing. I've been working on my handwriting lately, so that's why I'm kind of obsessed <laughs> with handwriting because I've been trying to make mine better. <laughs> and oh, this is oh this is so cool talking about heat waves oh um definitely check out nina's uh do-it-yourself care uh mini zine series there's one on like there's one on surviving heat waves there's one on surviving christmas there's i think there's a like a general self-care one as well could be misremembering sorry nina <laughs> Yes, just like so much cool stuff. So such detailed art. Aww, there's a little baby drawing cute. But yeah, <laughs> alone at last. So that's part three. And then we have part four. Aw, Chainsaw Bunny. One of the things on like my zine life bucket list is to get, get a Chainsaw Bunny. <laughs> Sometime, sometime. Let's see, see you soon in confined number five. You can see like the combination, all the the drawing and the photos and things, and their nice scenes and <laughs> with the nice binding. Boing, boing. Oh, I love it! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Part four. Woo! Contact. Oh, contact details. Right. <laughs> right in the front. I do. I love that. I love zine trades, emails, letters, postcards, mixtapes. Get in touch. <laughs> oh, P.S. Who am I? I'm a 39 year old white, queer, genderqueer, female person. She, her, or they, them. I live in Belgium. I make zines as echo zines and play in the band Lavender Witch and the solo project Lost Luna and all sorts of other amazing things because Nina is an amazing person. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, yes, I ordered uh, these two, part three and part four of the Confined series. You can do so as well. I'll have all the details where the details should be. And thank you so much for sending that out so quickly, Nina. It's, it's my joy to be able to support you and to be able to support all <laughs> zine creators and artists and musicians and everybody out there whenever I can because life is hard and we need to support our creatives because they help make our lives <laughs> less hard by bringing us joy. So yes. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's going to be another long one, but that is okay because it's long because people are creating such amazing things and I am experiencing so much joy to be able to share the awesomeness with you. Oh, here he comes. Da -da. Don't bump the mic. You're rude. You're rude. <laughs> Aw, Suki Lala. Hey, baby. Anyway, so with that, I will say thank you once more to everybody who... No, that's Mama's Coffee. <laughs> anyway, just another day in the life. With that, I will say thank you so very much to everyone who sends me glorious mail to share on this channel. It is really has always been and will always be my pure joy to be able to <laughs> to show off the amazing 
creations that people around the world are making like <laughs> keep art alive keep creativity alive do what we need to do during hard times and yeah i just i am truly honored to be able to have this role i guess in uh, <laughs> in showing off the goodness and spreading sunshine and doing everything i can to make the world a little, little, little bit better <laughs> <laughs> and being a weirdo while I'm at it. <laughs> so, thank you and thank you for watching. <laughs> I, yeah, obviously I wouldn't be here with <laughs> without all of you and all of your support and all of the good stuff. Because if I didn't have zines to share and <laughs> didn't have a channel and didn't have subscribers, what would I be doing? Let's not think about that. We'll just focus on spreading the sunshine. So until next time, make some zines, send some mail, get your November vibes on, whether you're in spring or you're in autumn, and send some mail <laughs> and spread, spread a lot of sunshine. Let's do this. Let's, let's spread a lot of sunshine this week. <laughs> until next time. Mwah. Hello, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna do this again. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know whether to call this like the mispronunciation, mispronunciation edition. I've mispronounced mispronunciation. Can you purr into the mic for mom? Hmm? Who's a suki lala, huh? <laughs> Who's a suki lala? You silly boy. Yes. <laughs> what can I say? I love him. <laughs>